Hi everybody, it's Bonkai922. Okay. Um to go with the Fairy Tale chapter review, let's do an episode review, right? Um first before I get into this episode, something I don't understand this. XL World, I can't find the episode episode 10. I have no idea what this is about. I don't know why I can't find episode 10. For some reason I just can't find it. Um Hopefully I find it. I'll look around on the internet. I'll try to find it. If I can't, I'll wait till next week, hopefully. We'll see about that. I, I don't know why it didn't, didn't show up. So 10. But anyway, moving right along. Fairy tale. Um, 134. This one... Well, this one was, was focused on... As we found out from last week, Natsu, he uh, got back to normal. Got back to normal. What I find weird about this filler is it seems like Fairy Tail's getting in the losing end against these guys from Zentopia. The Legion have you, what have you. They they don't they, they seemingly can't mount a good enough offensive against them and they keep losing. <coughs> now, based upon that, looking at this episode, which is 134. We have, um, uh, well, we begin with Lucy's group. Lucy, Natsu, Romeo, Michelle, and, and, uh, Happy. And they're trying to get into the, the gate. <laughs> Man, Natsu's stupidity is just, has no bounds, you know? He's just trying to attack it. He's like, ah, and he gets hurt with his hands. He's like, no, yeah, I should have done that. So, what does Lucy do? She's just like, let me take out one of my celestial spirits. Uh, she brings out, uh, you know, cancer. Ebby. And, um, he uses his scissors to, like, open the gate. There's this, like, weird gate. It's like a gate, an entrance to the thing. So he uses it to open the door, and they get sent into, into the place. Now... Where they are, um, they actually, um, they keep fall down this, they keep falling down in this episode. And then this episode was called Labyrinth Rhapsody. And they keep falling down, well, first they fall down and they hit the ground to sand. And like, Everyone's okay, except for Michelle. Michelle gets out of there, and she's throwing up sand in her mouth. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, but then we get, we then go to Grey. This whole, this love triangle, and I, I think Kiyoshi was mentioning it in my, in my chapter review. This love triangle between Grey, Leon, and Juvia is very interesting. And oh, by the way, I didn't mention this during the um, chapter review, so I figured I'd mention it here. I have a funny suspicion. After this fight Loxus has with Raventail, Grey might fight Leon. But then again, because it seems like they're the only two teams left for the day three. But then again, it might not be that. It might actually be Wendy who fights. We'll have to wait and see. But now that's just my opinion. I just thought I'd mention that. Anyway. So they get to, they go to their 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 labyrinth. Um, Juvia, Grey, and uh, Leon. And they realize they it's it's the the the, the these these um, places that they're finding the trying to find the pieces of are all are, are held by Zentopia. It's like Zentopia territory. Now <clears throat> what happens is they go in there and they see all these blocks like all over the place. Like all over the place. And each one has like an arrow. A weird, a crazy looking arrow on it. So they figure that figure out that they have to take each arrow and put them on this, this uh, uh, sign, this, this symbol. That is the, the that represents the symbol of the church of Zentopia. 
So they get each block, and I put it on there so they can turn it. Now, here's the funny thing in this episode. Leon keeps calling Juvia, Juvia-chan. She's like, don't call me that! Because she's like, she seemingly is in like a love triangle. <laughs> it was very strange. So then they were able to move the symbol so that it fits there and it opens. Well, before, actually before then, they, they com compete with this, this, this rock monster. And they, they, Lujuvia shoots it in the eye and they open the door and they go through there. But after that, they, they deal with this puzzle and they go through there. Meanwhile, Natsu and the gang, they get through their door and they go into this room. Oh my god. You know, between Natsu and Lucy, it's like, who's more stupid? Like, Lucy's like, oh yeah, this is what we need to do. We need to move it this way. Guess what? Walls start coming in. Oh, the fuck did... I, it was like, this episode was like... This episode reminds me of, you know what? Like, Indiana Jones. Like, da 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 That's what I figured, like, something, someone was going to play that music. Because he had boulders coming after you and stuff. But anyway, these, these heads start hitting them, and... They almost get crushed, but they get into the nostrils. And then, uh, when, uh, uh, it's not, I don't think it's Lucy who does it, but I think it's Natsu who does it. He supposedly does the same thing. But no, actually, that was later on. And so they turn it the other way, and, he, and then they get out of it, though. They, they get out of the situation um, because Virgo shows up. And Lucy get she gets she goes into that uh, I forgot the name of it um, the clock she has that she goes inside and she's like I don't know what to do with it so it was a crazy episode so they get Virgo to drill through a fucking hole drill through the earth and they go down there without getting squished so they get through that meanwhile with Gray Juvia and Leon. They get through their obstacle, and they find out that they have to use, again, they have to do the same thing they did before, but this time they have to use the blocks, or their, they use their magic to move the blocks, these, these blocks, these blocks because there's like arrows on and stuff, to make a bridge. And they go on this bridge, and so on and so forth, and guess who they bump into? Sugar Boy! Spicy! He keeps getting spicy. He's a crazy guy. We find out, I think in this... He said in this episode his magic was was uh, a dog whistle, which I didn't understand because the, the slime that comes out of him is supposed to be a dog. That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, what happens is Juvia and Leon, while fighting, get trapped, but Gray doesn't, and Leon's like, you know, Leon is like a really motivated person for Gray, I, I think. He's really motivated. He's like, you know, I'm, I'm you, you's disciple as well. Right? And he moves on. So he leaves them to deal with Sugar Boy. So he's going... And, and this whole confrontation with Sugar Boy reminds me so much of Elos. It's like that kind of the same feel towards it. So what ends on happening is he fights him. And it's an interesting fight, to say the least. They end up completing this... Because the, the gateway that they're in, it's a circle. It's a complete wraparound. It's a, it, it, it goes all the way around. And, and once you complete it, um, a doorway opens, supposedly. But what happens is, what opens is the, the, um, the part of the clock shows up. So they're having this fight. And at one point, um, you know, Grace taking it really tough, rough to Sugar Boy. And this is what I meant when I said, you know, most of the time, Fairy Tail was getting owned by these guys from Legion. But at this moment, with Sugar Boy, he gets defeated. Yeah. Not at the moment, because I, I, what happens is they both touch the piece of the clock, and they get zoomed in, they get out of there. And Leon was saying, right before they, he helps him and Juvia get out of there, uh, he says... I don't mind spending the rest of my days with Juvia like this. <laughs> and Juvia's like, ah, she doesn't want it. I have to go to Grace. So they get out of there. He breaks the, 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 the 
the goo that they're in. They get out of there. Uh, unfortunately, Gray gets trapped, supposedly. But he gets out of it. Because then he, Gray, then Leon shows up and Juvia shows up to help him. And they are able to defeat Sugar Boy. Finally, someone defeated somebody. Meanwhile, with Natsu and the others, they go into this room with these statues, and Lucy's like telling everyone, don't touch anything, don't touch anything. Guess what Natsu does? He touches something. He sees this statue, and the face of the statue looks like gray, so he punches it. He's like, what are you doing? And um, what happens is this boulder shows up out of nowhere. And it was another interesting thing in this episode between with with Happy and, and Romeo. And Happy's like, Lucy likes doing that, ripping people. What did you say she does? Lucy's very, she's so ah, crazy. She gets angry very easily. But anyway, so they, they, just, they have these three bridges to cross. So they cross the middle one. And eventually they get to the end. There's another boy coming out of them. So what ends on happening is Happy takes Lucy and Michelle, have them flying up in the sky, and Natsu and Romeo using their fire, which was an interesting episode. I thought this was pretty interesting. Um, as far as Romeo was concerned, he was throwing pretty good moves here and there, well, to, to survive. They fall down this the bridge, and um, Natsu and Romeo use their magic their fire magic to grab on the rocks on the side. And they're on there, and Lucy uses her whip to, to grab on one of the rocks. Unfortunately, they end up falling. The only way to go to, is to fall down, so they fall down again, and again, they're falling down. <laughs> and already I said how Gray defeated that sugar boy, so now they have a piece of the clock. Meanwhile, Lucy, not in the gang, they're walking through this 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 graveyard really desolate place skulls and shit everywhere to find their piece of the clock and guess and then we're walking around and walking and walking and eventually guess who they bump into that Danny guy the guy with the armor the guy that turned that suit into a little mouse and they bump into him and Kokua so Obviously, they're going to have to fight them or something along those lines. Uh, the next episode gets really fucking weird. Because this dead guy, he's like thinking about Mary Lucy. <laughs> so, this film is interesting. It's just it's a lot of nonsense here and there. Too much nonsense here and there. So, yeah. That was alright. It was not too bad. I was interested. The whole thing with Leon. That interests me. Because I got a funny feeling in the next chap. Not Not... Not the next chapter of Fairy Tale, because that's going to be about, you know, Loxus and his father and everything, and the fight, the fight with Raventail. But after that match, I have a funny suspicion Leon and Grey are going to fight. I could be wrong, but I just got a funny suspicion they're going to fight. Because the only other teams I haven't fought on day three have been Fairy Tale A and Lime and Scam. Might be Wendy, who knows? But just throwing it out there. Uh, rating. This was a lot of bullshit going on in this episode, so I'm gonna give it a three. Yeah, this this filler can't really be taken seriously too much, you know. But three wasn't too bad. Yeah. Bonkai Night Toy Two. See you guys later. Hopefully, Excel World. I don't know what's going on. Episode ten. I'll keep looking, but I don't understand why it didn't come out. You know. Find out later, hopefully. See you guys later.